I want to take this moment to apologize to all of my coworkers at TPT. Kathy, Eric, Uncle Larry, Brendan, Carrie, Mary, Tane, David, you guys, I just didn't know. I didn't realize. Wait, let me back up. You see, before I started wearing this face mask all the time, I had no idea about my breath. Yikes! Now I got my nose up under there, right over my mouth, and had a doctor check it out. It's working perfectly. But I was still clueless about my breath until I couldn't get away from it. It's like being sentenced to living in little nose tents. I'm convinced that all my favorite foods like spaghetti, nachos, and French onion soup are trying to take me out. Let me just say this for the record. What's so appealing going down is not so nice when the fumes get trapped inside my mask and wind up singeing my nose hairs. A quick trip for a donut from Dunkin' and honey, before long, I'm skunking. A spicy sausage leaf puts on the stink. And after some cheese, ooh, child, please. I don't know where our country's greatest scientists are, but I need just one of them to come up with a mint shield to fit right here inside these masks. That way I don't run the risk of passing out, needing oxygen, and winding up in the emergency room after the tuna salad sandwich I had for lunch gets a little too up close and personal. In the meantime, I'm creating a plan that lets me social distance from myself. Because, honey, my pre-existing condition is bringing tears to my eyes. And probably Kathy and Eric's, too.